All right, we're going to uh, use a program called Directory Lister Pro. You can download this from our course website. When you do download it, you'll have to rename the file uh, to uh, so it has a last name after the period with a dot in its name. Uh, the last name has to be exe. Um, I have downloaded that file and now I am going to install it. I have it up here on my desktop and I'll click it. And I'm going to pick run. And say yes to this prompt. And yes, and say OK to English. And uh, next. And accept the agreement. It's shareware. It's going to install it in this particular folder. That's fine. And it's going to uh, give it the name Directory Lister Pro. And it's going to create a desktop icon and a quick launch icon. And install. After it is installed, um, it will automatically launch. I'll hit finish. And click OK here. So here's Directory Lister Pro, and it's used for creating uh, clickable lists of files that are on a particular drive so that you um, are kind of uh, able to use it like a web page. You click on a link, and it will open up the file. Um, we are going to look at my eDrive here, and we could get a listing of all the files on the eDrive if I click here, but uh, that would take quite a while, and for the purposes of our demo, I'm just going to pick one folder, this one here, um, 235 uh, Video Tutorial. So I'm going to pick that option, and I'm going to make sure that I go over here to Output Options, and have HTML clicked. I want to make sure these are all checked. Generate links to files, links to directories, and so on. So you just check all of those there. And then these all should be checked as well. There's a filter option here that says, um, what files do you want to look at? If we wanted only to look at certain files, we could use this mask uh, to say uh, filter the option. So in our case, we want to look at all the files in that folder. So asterisk, period asterisk is correct. Otherwise, you could change, like, for example, this particular um, option and say you wanted to look at just um, MOV, uh, AVI files, if that's the type of file that you were looking for to link to, and it would just list those files. Or you can just use the asterisk, and every file in the folder will be then listed down here below. Once you've done that, um, you can go back to um, your display columns. You can see these are all the options that are being displayed in the column headings over the files that are listed. Um, if you didn't want some of these, you could take the check mark off and then it disappears from the list down below. Um, if you have a subject, you could put that in there. So you have to decide which of these options you want to be showing in your listing. Once you have it all together, uh, the output options, remember, are going to be generated HTML or like a sort of like a internet file that allows you to click on the names of the files and launch them, which is like a clickable index. And that's correct. And that's what's been created already down here, but we need to save it. So we go up to the uh, file save option here, and it's going to have HTML as a last name. I click to the right of the name, move my left button over to the front of it, and say list of the files. From a folder on my major drive. And that's fine, that's a good name for it. Good as any. And where are you going to put this file? Most likely, you would probably want to put it on the drive that it is an index to. So, wherever the drive goes, the index is there. Sometimes you can't do that if it's a CD, in which case you'd have to save the index file up on the network. So, wherever the CD goes in the uh, CD is um, whoever's computer has uh, the uh, drive in the, in the uh, disk drive, they can access the HTML file from the network and use it as a clickable index. So I'm going to put it right on my E drive. Um, although maybe I'll do this. I'll put it on my desktop. Easier to find for me and save it. Then I can come out of Directory Lister Pro. And here is the um, icon, list of files from the folder. I double click it, and it will come up. And um, 
show me the listing of files over here. Um, and if I go highlight any of these, like this is a video showing hash tabs, how to use it, DOS commands, I can click on that file and it will download the file in such a way that I can then open it and uh, launch the file and um, play it. Okay, uh, this is a video that demonstrates. So that's launching another demonstration video. So these are this is like a web page that is linked now to these various files. And that's how it's done.